and I bring my family back the next week. What kind of nonsense is that? You don't need marijuana or weed to get black men to come to a church. The Holy Spirit is strong enough to do that. I'm about to speak this morning. Let me say this again. I don't judge no man, but I'm going to call out false prophets. You don't need weed or marijuana or no drug to draw black men to the gathering. The Holy Spirit is strong enough to do that. Now that I got your attention, I and I will play the whole video in a second, I just want to say that with all the nonsense that's occurring recently with priests and pastors, we all know who they are. We have to be accountable, guys. When you're responsible for your church, you, you are set at a higher standard than the rest. Although we are set at a quote-unquote standard, but you are definitely at a higher standard. Let's not forget that, guys. I'm going to go ahead and play the rest of the video right now. When I see the foolery of what is happening in the American church, especially in the black context, the nonsense that we pastors keep pushing across this pulpit, the unsuspecting sheep that don't hold pastors accountable. With your absenteeism and your lack of funding, that's how you hold a man accountable. I won't come, I won't give. We clear out. We won't listen to theological garbage. You will not lie to me from that pulpit. You will not desecrate God's house and I bring my family back the next week. What kind of nonsense is that? You don't need marijuana or weed to get black men to come to a church. The Holy Spirit is strong enough to do that. I'm about to speak this morning. Let me say this again. I don't judge no man, but I'm going to call out false prophets. You don't need weed or marijuana or no drug to draw black men to the gathering. The Holy Spirit is strong enough to do that. What you trying to say about our black men? That the only way they're gonna come to church is to be them with a 20 bag? When I was driving here this morning, I seen a young jitterbug on the street. He had to be no older than 14, bopping with his headphones. A straight ninja, like me when I was his age. And I beat my horn at him. Handed him an invite flyer to our church. And immediately I began to pray for him. Lord, the way you rescued me when I did not know you, rescue this young man. I pray before the year is over, since he lives right up the street, he'll walk right through that door. I don't got to bribe him with a bag of weed. I bribe him with prayer and the Holy Spirit. Look, we're not going to be silent. I don't need to fill a sacred place. These rooms across the nation, look at me. Give me this camera control room. I want this one right here. Control room, give me this camera right here, one. These rooms across the nation are supposed to be sacred places where the Spirit of God dwells, where souls can be really saved and regenerated and born again, where the gospel must be proclaimed. These rooms are supposed to be sacred places. We don't got to desecrate them with entertainment and secular music. I got Christian hip hop artists that can do that. I don't care. Somebody gonna stand up for Jesus. I am not gonna sit down. I got Sean D for that. Christian hip hop. If you don't like it, you can leave now. I got Kiosha for that. Christian hip hop. 
We don't need to desecrate these sacred rooms with entertainment. And we, the American church, need to pray for our leaders and pray for our shepherds and pray for our hearts to be turned. The darkness of our hearts, we who are responsible for carrying this glorious gospel. To all the pastors in this nation, I talk to you like, give me this camera. Like I talk to myself. There's sin in my own heart. Darkness in my own heart. I'm wringing out my own heart before the Lord. What are you doing? We ain't we ain't Christ. I don't care what your title is or mine. We need ringing out just the same. We need to repent. For the greatest threat to the American church is the American pulpit. We are leading people astray, not the devil. We are. And I'm telling all of my brothers who stand in this pulpit, all of us, play around if we want to the scripture says we who do this should be afraid to do this we're going to incur the greater judgment i can fool the people in my church i can't fool the lord you can fool the people in your church you can't fool the lord he knows who you really are he knows who i really am he knows who we are in the dark but nobody can see Are you listening to us? Is the message clear?